Yo, what up, my traders? Got another green day. That makes three green days in a row for my live account. Uh, and took two trades, 100% accuracy, made $44. And uh, it's not about how much you make. It's about how much you keep. Stay tuned. Yo, what's up, traders? Got a green day today. Took two trades, two trades only. pre mark was very slow. And I made $44. So let's get into it. So here, just kind of cut straight to the open. It's been three minutes. Let the stock dump. And um, I really, I was watching other stocks, and I just came back to this one. And um, it's coming to a support level here, psychological one, seven dollar fifty cents. And um, just playing, trying to play a bounce. Yeah, it cracked below it. I didn't take that buy right away, cause you know, uh, I just want to see it. I just want to see what the what the candle does, how the tape reacts to that level. Does it go there and flushes and stays down? Or does it go there and comes up and tries to bounce? And in this case, it looks like it wants to bounce. Like it goes to 750, it cracks 750, but it never cracks and flushes and stay below there. You never really see 750 on the ax like that. You'll see it on the ax for like maybe a couple of seconds and then it'll come back on the bid. So that's like, oh, that's bullish to me. So still looking at the bids here, it's at 753. Not moving up, so it's acting heavy. So I didn't. I'm not entering the position right now. I'm letting. I'm letting this stock flush. Like if it's going to flush, it's going to flush. You know, it should have flushed already. I'm really just seeing if the stock's going to flush or not. I mean, it's not, and it's holding up, and it actually pushes up here. So there was a lot of missed entries. I could have been in the stock already. I, I, I missed some entries. I did miss some entries. So, it tested the VWAP, cool. But I'm I've been trading this pattern for a while to where like, if you see like, I mean it's kind of three minute candle, but like I've I've done it to where like if you get like one big long candle like this, and it's like at a support level, it's a higher a higher a probability chance that it'll start bouncing. But if you see a red long a, a long candle like this, wait for the next candle. And if that candle starts being small and getting small, that means it's a reversal signal. You see how this candle is like small? They got a wick here. But you see how this, this candle is smaller than in comparison to this one here? So that's like a reversal signal. And that usually happens off of big, long, red candles. You might get two. You might get three. But just start looking for the next candle to be a small one. So that's what I did here. This candle is a small candle compared to this one. It touched the VWAP. Test, it tested the VWAP. So now... I'm looking for a trade. I want to take it on this candle too. I don't want to really take it on the next candle. You know, I mean, if if the the, the next candle would have came and pulled back here, I don't that'd have been a risky trade. So I want to get a dip back on the same candle. So, let's test it 760. And um, I can't trade a lot of stocks with higher share or with higher uh, price because I don't have that much money in my account. So I got to trade within my price range. There was a lot more of the stocks going in today, like ISEE. I could have made a lot of money on that stock if I had my paper account. So either way, here we go. We're getting a rejection here. Now, I ain't going to lie. This now, this is scary right here. I, I took this trade here. This is a this is a very, very risky trade. Why? It's downtrending. It broke the support level. Nice little flush. The only thing that's, that's okay is you got this little bid here, but and then it's this wick right here. That that's a that's a strong rejection, man. Went to the 760 level, got rejected. But most people, most shorts probably want to see it crack down here and then get tested up here at 750 and get rejected before they start putting on some more shorts. But here, you know, this is this is this is a little risky trade. I'm catching the I'm catching the falling knife. So up down twelve bucks. I in my mind I was like, okay, if it breaks seven forty, I'll just have to sell it for a loss, a twenty one dollar loss. But it never gets there and it starts to reverse. Start to reverse here. Seven forty seven, seven forty eight, seven fifty two. That actually held on I held on to my whole position for that whole ten cent pop. Boom, got out right there. Well, I'm up $22.43 on a day. First trade. Second trade here, EIQ. E 
what time is this? 10.15. It's about 45 minutes after the market open. I usually don't trade this late. But as you can see, there's nothing trading. Just like Everything's been dead this pre-market this month. Just like how it started last month of August. But look at the pre-market here. This is, this is bull crap. Look at this. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. No action. It actually started coming here. My chat called it out. So I'm trying to play a, a dip to these VWAP levels because they're all in the same areas on all three charts. So it makes it a high probability chance it's going to bounce. So that's what, I'm, that's what I'm waiting for. 580, 582, it's not holding. Red on the tape, got cracked, came back up. You know, that, that could have been like a buy signal, but I, 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 I'm patient. Like, I'm very patient. Like, I want the, I, I need these, I want this price to come down to these levels, to these levels here. It, that's like at 560 almost 570 I think so I'm waiting for it to crack 580 it's holding up but like it's not it's not really going up fast so there we go we got a little crack here it's up to that 573 300 shares Uh, 74, 76. I was, I was feeling pretty confident. I, I felt confident I was going to get the rip when I saw this action here on the level two. When I saw that, uh, look at the X. See, it's going to be 80 on the X, right? It's, it's at 579 right now on the X. When it did that, you see how it just skipped up past 80, 81, 82, and it, the, the spread got wide like that. So I'm like, okay, that's, that's kind of, that's bullish to me. Uh, now I'm just waiting for the bids to catch up. And when it when I saw that action, I was I was pretty confident that is uh I'm gonna get that that little eighty pop, and I got it. Made forty four dollars and forty seven cents today. Only traded two tickers, two trades. Try to grow this small account to a larger one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to content. Yep.